Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Royston, and welcome to another edition of Live Your Best Life. Wow, we made it. We're here. We survived. Oh my goodness. We don't have to go back through everything that happened in 2020 because we all know what happened in 2020. A lot. A friend of mine and, and I were speaking about it and like, it is the season of a lot. It was the year of a lot. So first, let me say, I was in it with you. Secondly, my prayers are with you. All of those that lost loved ones, that um, suffered health issues themselves, everybody, we were all in it together. And I know that was very cliche. And you probably got sick of seeing it on the commercials, but it's a real place. We were all in it together, striving, struggling, striving to heal just to get through one more day. If I can just keep going this, this one more day and one more time to be on Zoom and one more time um, to be eating out of this refrigerator and one more time to hopefully fix something different. I get it, I understand. But right now, being on the cusp, being here in a brand new year, how do you plan? How do you prepare? How do you move forward? What do you do next? That's what we're going to be talking about. Three things, you, your quality of life, and your direction. 2021, here we come. The old hide and seek game, ready or not. Here I come, here we come. Ready or not, sustained or not all the questions that are going on through your mind. Will I have enough? Am I enough? Will it be enough? Oh my gosh, what else could happen? What else is next? We don't know. But know that I'm here, Julia Royston, to strive to help encourage you, continue to inspire you, as well as bring people, places, tools, and resources to help you live your best life. Whatever that best life is, as you well know, I have been saying that for a long time, that it's not my life, it's yours. And all of us, we didn't get what we envisioned, we didn't see, we thought that 2020 was 2020 vision. Oh, but I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. So let's talk about it. First off, the scripture for this show that I hope and pray blesses you is taken from a third John. You know, there's main uh, John, disciple John, and then there are the small three, um, small uh, books of John in the back. So this is third John chapter one and verse two. It states, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. Now, you know, when we think of prosper, we always think of money and, oh, I'm going to be wealthy. But prosperity doesn't always necessarily mean money. Now, the definition of prosper, of course, is to be successful or fortunate. Well, of course, the number one um, thing that you associate with prosperity is money. I'm rich. But rich in what? Rich in just money, houses, land, and property, or are you rich in health? Or are you just rich in people, places, things? Or are you rich in mental health? Are you rich in sustaining yourself to live and love and thrive? Now, of course, the second definition relates to the first one, especially in financial aspects, of course. We all think about prosperity as relation, relationship to money. But the third and fourth one is really what I want us to focus on. The third definition is to thrive. And thriving for me and thriving for you may be two different things. Thriving for the elderly who are have um, had serious health issues all year long, and even younger people that have sustained health issues, just getting out of bed is thriving. And of course, the next definition is flourishing. Flourishing may be, oh my goodness, I was not on my oxygen for two hours today, and I have to go back on it 22 more hours 
but I was able to at least breathe and be off of it. So what does thriving and flourishing mean for you? That's what prosperity is. That's what I'm encouraging you to be prosperous in. But you, it has to be yours. You have to take ownership of it. You have to determine what that looks like. Yeah, we're going to have a serious conversation today. It's just me and you. I don't have a guest today because you are the guest. You're the special guest that I have today. It's a conversation for you to determine. So you may want to get out a notebook. You may want to get out of a pad of paper, or you may just get out your phone and open up one of the notebook apps. You may want to just uh, turn over a napkin and just start jotting things down. I've seen millionaires and multimillionaires jot down notes and change their lives and change the next generation's lives because they were willing to take a step. They wrote it down. They wrote the vision and they made a plan. So the first thing I want to talk about is you. It says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, you. Remember when you're boarding a plane, which I haven't been on very uh, much this year, is that in the event that the oxygen comes down, you know, you're supposed to put the oxygen mask and your other mask on you first before you strive to help someone else. So what do you need? So what do you want? Me, for me, one of the focuses for 2021 is my health. Now, it may be baby steps to you, but it probably is going to be pretty radical for me. But for me is to become even more active. I have been in my office and done multitude of things, coached people, wrote books, uh, recorded videos, recorded my show, and everything sitting at this chair sitting at my desk recording on my red microphone which some of you've seen if you've watched any of my videos so therefore i gotta get more active yoga um even having a massage under underneath my desk simple movements walking up more down up up and down excuse me my stairs even inside my home to get more active that's my goal for me it's, it's a health thing. Um, to drink more water, even though water is not my favorite thing, but, you know, much, 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 much less soda. Yeah, I'm being transparent, totally transparent. I told you, you were going to be the special guest today, remember? And then we were going to just have a, a general conversation, drink more water, and then better food choices, more vegetables, fruits, and, you know, trying to stay away from as much red meat as possible. So each time I make a selection, each time I make a choice, each time I get ready to make it, uh, do an activity or do something, I should ask myself three things, three things when it comes to me. One, is it good for me? And this is the one time, you know, women, we have an issue with being selfish. Now that's an idea for another show and you know we think about others first and that's wonderful and as a, a as a daughter of somebody who is an extreme giver both of my parents were extreme givers it's really kind of hard and I'm even finding myself having a difficult time with it but sometimes I have to discern, determine do I want to live or do I die do I want to be in health even as my soul prospers do I want to be my best self do I want to live my best life I have to determine is it good for me is this something that will uh, help me be a better me? And then do I need it or just want it? And then third question is, will I suffer later from it? Whatever I'm doing. Now this, this is related to health for me, but those three questions may be for a lot of people, a lot of different things. Is it about money? Is it good for me? Is it something that I really need or I just won't, I won't? Is it just going to hang in the closet? And then I realize when I get it home, which I've done, I, I confess, I've gotten home and realized, oh, I already bought that. And I don't need any more of that. And I just keep it or I may give it away to someone else. But do I really need it? Or just, do I just want it? I think that's one of the things 2020 taught me more than anything else. Do I really need that? Or do I just want that? And then I realize I don't really need that because I have a different life. I'm walking in uh, different steps. I'm home. I am um, doing a lot of things virtual, digitally, and online. And then I realize I may suffer financially from it. 
It may give me a temporary pleasure. But do I really want that? Do I really need that? Or do I just want it? And I will suffer for it later because I won't use it. It will not benefit me or anyone else. So let's think about you. What do you need? Is it a health thing? Is it a financial thing? Is it um, a relationship thing? What is it? So let's move on. So you have to make those critical decisions about you. Secondly, it's been something that has really impacted me. I had to really think about the quality of my life. Is this what I worked really hard for and went to school for? Is this, am I living the life that my parents raised me for? Now, some of you, it may be the complete opposite. The quality of life that I, I had at one time in my life, I had to say, I was born for more than this and I was born for greater than this. This is not going to work for me. And I changed it. Right now, I'm in a great space. It's a wonderful place. Relationally, yeah, and you know, you was about me and health. So that was my problem. But um, I had to realize this is not the quality of life. This is not the life I was born to live. So living my best life, I had to make some changes. And that was over 20 years ago. And I've learned from it, encouraged other people through it, and coached others about it, and, and, and encouraged other people to make some critical choices. But every day, every month, every week, every year, I have to say that even about myself and my own life. Are you living your best quality of life? So you have to determine and analyze your current quality of life. And then are there things in your current life that are circumstances beyond your control? Or are they in spite of your control? Ooh, write that down. Some things are circumstances beyond your control. You have to begin taking care of an elderly parent. Um, there was a fire unexpectedly. Uh, there was a divorce. There was death. There was an accident. Something happened unexpected. Uh, a loss of a job. All kinds of things that are sometimes circumstances beyond your control. You know, your supervisor, your boss just stands there and says, I don't know, the higher ups made that decision and I'm just the mailman. I'm just delivering the bad news. Or is it in spite of your control? You refuse to change. You refuse to do something different. So you sat there and you waited, even though your inner knower or your inner self said, jump, leap, go, get out, release it, tell them goodbye, let it go. And you refuse, you held on too long. So th that's what I mean by circumstances beyond your control, or is it in spite of your control? And then, are you going to select a different quality of life? You're just going to complain about the one you had. That's a choice. That's, that's something you have to determine. And then you also have to determine what it will take to get there. That's usually a decision. And sometimes that's a hard one. And then finally, so we're talking about you, the quality of life, and your direction. You have to get a starting point determining your quality of life or an issue or a problem that you either want fixed or determine I need to change my health or my eating or my job or my educational status or something so that I have a higher quality of life. So you do have to have a starting point. And then for as far as your direction, you have to change or determine, first off, starting point. Secondly, determine your destination, where you want to go, what you want to be when you grow up. Sometimes that starts at 40. Sometimes that doesn't necessarily happen at 12 or five. Back in kindergarten, when you said you wanted to be a firefighter. And then, so therefore, you have to change your direction. So I hope that helps you. Think about you, your quality of life, your direction. I'm Dr. Julia Royce, and we'll be back with more. Getting you ready for 2020. One, 2021. Here we come. We'll be back with more, getting you ready for 2021. 
And we're back. I'm Dr. Julia Royston with Live Your Best Life. Yep, I'm on by myself today. I do not have a guest today, but I hope that I'm bringing you some inspiration, some information, and some empowerment to help you to move forward in 2021. Yeah, 2020 was a rough year. It was um, like none other, if you can imagine. Uh, and most of you can, because we've all been experiencing together. But we're going to be talking um, continually in this segment for 10 tips for 2021. Now, we've talked about you, thinking about you for once, and the quality of life and your direction. But let's get 10 tips for 2021. Number one, what do you need to research? Once you decided you want to change direction, you want to do something different, you may have to find out some more information. What are the work environment like? What is the pay? Um, what are the duties? What are the tasks? What are the assignments? And what are they? Always look for that bottom part. Other duties as assigned. What does that mean? So you may have to do some research and homework on especially that new direction that you're headed into. Number two, do you need a coach or a mentor? Do you need someone to help you through this process, to navigate that? There's nothing wrong, and you may even need a therapist. So there's nothing wrong with saying, I need somebody to coach me where I'm trying to go. Have they already been there? Um, are they there now? Um, are they in a place that they can shine a light and at least point me in the right direction? So you may need a coach or a mentor. Sometimes you may need somebody else to ask. Uh, to recommend someone a referral and you may need to ask. So that's number one. What do you need? Do you need to do some research? Do you need to do some homework? Ask Uncle Google. And then number two, do you need a coach or a mentor or even a therapist? You may need that even before you get started. Then number three, you may need to update your resume. So these are just general tips, whether you're making a career change, whether you're making a life change, whether you're making um, starting a business, Whatever you need to do, you may need to update your resume um, so that people can know what your skills are, your experience is, and make sure that it's as concise as possible. A two-pager, mm, a little much, but um, if you can get it down to one page and, and make it clear and concise and make sure that somebody else reviews it for grammatical errors, etc., update your resume. Number four, update your social media. Now, some of you may need to deactivate your accounts and start all over, depending upon which direction you're headed into. Because sometimes when you're headed into a new direction and you're taking your old life into the new life, will it transfer? Will it be okay where you're headed? You may need to think about that. Think about some of those comments, uh, pictures, and things of that nature. You may need to start all over again uh, on social media. And some of you, your social media is fine and it works for the, the life that you have but you still need to update the bio. There needs to be pictures there or there. If you're in business, have we seen anything related to your business? Has your business changed? Have you changed? So therefore, updating your social media. Number five, uh, um, update your professional headshots. Yeah, those bathroom selfies are cute. Um, you know, when you're in the club and you're hanging out with your friends and that's good, that's fine. It's no problem about that. But if you really want to take your life to the next level, you're heading into a new direction, you may need to get some professional headshots. Stand up against a nice white wall. Even the camera phones are excellent. So get some professional headshots, something that looks vibrant and bright with nice colors. You know, you may not be able to get into a, a professional studio. You may not even have the money for it. But I tell you what, get you a, a nice outfit, dressed up, makeup done, hair done, and have somebody take you some great quality headshots, just even from your phone. And then number six, who do you need to call or email? Who do you need to follow up with? Since it's after the holiday, who do you need to reconnect with? I was gonna contact you, but I need to wait until after the holidays are over. And then you need to make that phone call. You need to have that conversation. You need to, to follow up. Number seven, you got to get all them deals and take a look at your money. Now, you probably needed to do that even before, but none of these tips are in any 
a direct order. I just, I came up with 10 and I wanted to make sure that I included this one. This is a hard conversation sometimes for people to have. And you're not going to tell me how to spend my money. Yeah, but I thought you wanted to head into a new direction. I thought you wanted a better quality of life. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, but there are plenty of financial advisors that are out there. But you first off have to take a look at your money and then you have to be honest about it. And then you have to get a right relationship with money. How is money going to work for me instead of I working for it? And then I still have nothing to show for in the future. So number seven, take a look at your money. Be realistic. Be honest about it. And then that'll help with that new direction that hopefully is heading you into being able to make more money. And then number eight, write the vision and make it plain. So write out your goals, visions, and objectives. I know people have vision board parties. They're going to have virtual ones. And that's wonderful and great. But you still need to make sure that you not only write them down and put the pictures and it's glued and glitter and all that good stuff, but number nine, put some due dates and get an accountability partner. Get somebody who's going to say, girl, have you even started? Did you call anybody? Where are the professional headshots? Did you take them? Do you need me to take them? What did you do about your social media? Let's see your resume, girl. Let me review it. And I do know uh, a great coach that I've had. I had a great mentor and I know of a mentor. And um, let's sit down and you be on your computer and I'll be on mine or you be on your phone and I'll be on mine. And let's do some research. Let's find out what that is. I'm tired of you talking. You know how girlfriends are. I'm tired of you talking about it. I'm tired of you fussing about it. You ready to write that book for real? You say you got a book in you. You got all them poems in that notebook and you haven't reached out to Julia Burson yet. I'm just saying. So put some due dates and get an accountability partner. And then number 10, just do it. You got to start where you start. That quality of life is calling you and you're sitting there jealous of somebody else's life. That can be your life too. Are you willing to put the work in? Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to move forward? Are you willing to change? And that, that C word is almost a cuss word to some people. I don't want to change. I don't want to do, I'm good in my comfort zone. Okay, well then you're fine with the quality of life that you have. Okay, but why does it make you so angry? Why does it make you so mad? In 2021, let's get it done. Let's move closer. Now it's going to take time. It's going to take work. It's going to take effort. You're going to cry some days. Even if you want to start a business, it's going to take time to grow it. If you want to change careers, that's going to take time as well. Do you need to re-educate yourself? Do you need to not just update your resume, but you need to go back to school. You might need to take an online course. You may need to do a lot of things. But number 10, just do it. I'm Dr. Julia Burson. I'll be back with more. And we're back. I'm Dr. Julia Royston, and this is Live Your Best Life, where I'm super excited to be here having a conversation with you, helping you to encourage you, to inspire you, to empower you, to be able to motivate you to live your best life. And today we've been talking about you, your quality of life, and your direction. 2021, here we come. Ready or not, here we come. So this is a segment and a part uh, of the show that I love, always had, always will. But this portion of the show is talking about my book, my new book that I'm super excited to release uh, on uh, this show and let everybody know all about it. It is called Live Your Best Life. Oh my gosh, a novel idea. I wanted to uh, write something that not just went along with the show, but I also wanted to really encourage people to each and every show that we have on Envision Dash Radio is designed to encourage, inspire, inform, and give you people, places, tools, and resources. But I also wanted to have an accompanying book, Live Your Best Life. And so three chapters within Live Your Best Life um, that I'm super excited about. First off, it's not the first chapter, so none of these chapters are in order, but I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek and a little inside track on um, Live Your Best Life, the new book by myself, Julia Royston. Super excited about it and super excited to release it. Um, I knew I wanted to in 2021 just because it had been a rough year and what my best life looked like in 2020 and what somebody else's 
look totally different, but I wanted to encourage and empower. So number one, give yourself permission. Some of the things that I've talked about throughout the show, some of you think it's a fantasy, think it's a dream, it's think it's it happened for you, Julia Royston, but it can't happen for me. Well, as they say, the devil is a liar. And I want to officially give you permission to live your best life. But just because I give you permission, the best person to give you permission is yourself. We said we were going to talk about you in the top of it. It's a conversation between you and I. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to live that best life. The one that may not have been a part of your family, you really don't even have a vision except that girl at school who um, was in that math class you all had together and you looked and it looked like she had just a wonderful life and you thought, I really want that kind of life. But then as you grew older, you realized there were others who were living a life that you really desired. Not theirs, but one that was maybe different than what you grew up, that you grew up having. Give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to succeed. Also, give yourself permission to fail and try again and realize that's not for you and realize this is not the life I thought it was and I didn't know it involved that and I'm not willing to sacrifice that and I'm not willing to go beyond these borders and I have my own poor personal um, uh, limits and, and boundaries and I'm not crossing those lines. So give yourself permission to live the life you were going to live. So that's the first one. There are 10 altogether, but just to give you an inside uh, sneak peek. And then the second one is that I really want to talk about is explore all the lanes. You know how people tell you, just get in your lane and stay in your lane. You're getting out of your lane. But over my life, I've seen all kinds of lanes that I've wanted to explore, given my skill set, given my ability to want to stretch and expand and grow. So I've done it and realized, okay, after I got in those lanes, I realized, mm, ugh, I didn't do so bad over there, but is that the best use of my time? But I wouldn't know that if I hadn't given myself permission to explore, to, to try it, to go for it, to actually do it. So sometimes you have to explore all the lanes and try them on and see if they fit. So number three, clean your glasses. Now I've worn, I'm 57, and I've worn glasses since I was eight years old. So glasses just have always kind of been on my face. Various shapes, various sizes, various colors even. Oh, wait a minute. I even had my initials on them one time. Cute enough. If you find any old pictures, don't share them. <laughs> but sometimes you have to clean your glasses. You know, we all thought 2020, 2020 vision. I have great vision of where I want to be and what I want to do. And God derailed that. Eep! And COVID derailed that. Eep! Stopped everything. But sometimes you're going to have to take time. And I have those glass cleaners that I wipe in. And I'm thinking, oh, that's just, that's horrible. That's dirty over there. And I realize those are my glasses that are dirty. I don't see clearly because I haven't cleaned my glasses. So to get a uh, a clearer vision of where you want to be and what you want to do. Sometimes you have to clean your glasses, your glasses. So, and stop looking at what other people have and what they want. And sometimes just go back to why are you? And then finally, number four, make sure it fits. And all those lanes determine what you want to do as much as what you don't want to do. So live your best life, new book by a, um, Julia Royston, myself, I am super excited about it. You can purchase it now at JuliaRoystonStore.com. You can purchase the paperback or the ebook. Now, the beauty of going to JuliaRoystonStore.com is that it, you will get a signed copy. You will get a BK Royston um, um, store, uh, BK Royston Publishing, I'm sorry, backpack, as well as a box, as well as, I might throw another gift in there or two. But I'm super excited about that, to be able to bring you some encouragement, some inspiration to help you to live your best life. And that's the title of the book, Live Your Best Life, bringing you 
some foundational tools as well as some reflection, some writing pages. So you can just write right in my book and determine what um, chapter best appeals to you, what chapter motivates you, what chapter is going to transform your life. And that's what I, my design is for clarity, for inspiration, and for transformation. That's clarity, information, and for transformation. So I trust that I said something that blessed you, that inspired you to help you live your best life. And here we come in 2021. So a special thank you to Envision-Radio.com. I appreciate Envision Radio for allowing me access to this platform. It's been an honor and a privilege to be a part of the Envision-Radio.com family, and there's more to come in 2021. There has been an audience you've given me access to an audience to inspire and educate, and then you've been given me, have given me an opportunity to activate my voice to serve. I encourage each of you to share, comment, and support Envision-Radio.com to all of your circle of influence and all of your social media platforms. Know that there's more to come in 2021. I'm Dr. Julia Royston, wishing you today, tomorrow, and always a happy new year, but poor, and more importantly, a happy new life. Be blessed and know today, tomorrow, and always that you live your best life. I'll cut it up. And finally, a special thank you for Envision-Radio.com. It has allowed me three things. Access to this platform, which I'm honored and humbled by. Secondly, an audience to inspire and educate. And I feel that is definitely a part of my purpose. And then number three, it allows me an opportunity to activate my voice to serve. My voice is not lost. I didn't have to find it. I just need to activate it. I encourage each of you to share, comment, and support envision-radio.com to all of your circle of influence and social media platforms. There is clearly greater and more to come in 2021. I'm Dr. Julia Royston, always encouraging you today, tomorrow, and always to live your best life. Be blessed.